Hi, Mermaid Junkies. How are you? Um, yes, I'm coming to you from the bedroom. Um, I've got so much stuff to do today. Um, do you ever, I totally wish I could sing in life. Like, you know how like you have all these beautiful, um, people that sing and have like angelic voices and everything. It's like, oh my God, I wish, oh, when I'm reincarnated, I want to come back like and have a beautiful, beautiful little songbird voice. Um, okay. So this video today was sparked by like me speaking of, about singing is that, I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it was either last, I think it was last year on America's Got Talent, this little girl, and I totally loved her, and I like vowed for her the entire time on America's Got Talent, and her name is Grace Vanderwall, I think, and, um, and so like she just released, she's releasing her first album, and like her entire tour, world tour, is already sold out. Anyway, she's like 13 years old, and I love her little raspy voice. Well, I have subscribed to this cute darling girl because I think she is just a gem and a genius. She writes all of her own music and everything like that. Okay, so on her album, this is what sparked this video, okay? Is that she has a song on there called, um, oh my God, I can't remember what it's called. Okay, you guys, it's called So Much More Than This. And it's one of her tracks on her latest, you know, um, CD, her first album that just dropped. Okay. And you, what it's about is it's talking about like, this girl is so like ahead of her time. You know what I mean? Like she, because she gets, gives a video and she talks about what it, what it means and what it's about. And, um, and she says, you know, it's about like in life, how many things are so not important when it really comes down to it. And she's talking about like um, how like the world is so captivated by all of this, you know, um, social media and everything. And like it, it's really become like how many likes you can get on Instagram and like how many people like totally use their value system by like Instagram or um, Snapchat or all of these social media outlets. It's like you value, people have started to value their um, worth with how many likes or how many followers you get on Instagram or Snapchat or following, I guess it's not the same as fan, well, I guess fan, fan pages on Facebook and stuff, right? But it's like, people are obsessed about it. Like there are some people that are like, I've heard of celebrities that like, if they don't get a certain amount within a certain time period, they will completely delete the pictures and stuff because it's like, they feel bad or something about themselves, right? And I just think that the, here's my whole take on it. Okay, so for one thing is that, yeah, if you have to spend all of your time doing social media and you're not, like, that to me means, like, people are powerful creators. We're all wonderful, powerful creators. But when you start spending your time, most of your time on a social media outlet, like it completely devalue, it makes you feel really devalued and it gives you this false sense of, um, it gives you this false sense of validation of who you are because you start to rely on, I mean, because my ex was in television and in, in, you know, pop culture and, and news media outlets and like celebrity gossip and all that kind of stuff. And so I know what that can do, like, especially to like children, but it just seems like adults have really become really inclined to completely put too much emphasis on social media because I believe that the biggest thing is, is if you have that much time on your hands to spend in this social media world, that you really probably aren't getting too much done in your personal life or your career if you're spending all your time on social media. And what happens is you start to compare yourself to others. And like I know, and I'm speech, speaking from experience because I like completely like eliminated 
a thousand people on my Instagram on my Instagram like I just completely took them off of my follower list because I'm like I'm not and for one thing I don't even follow I follow one person which is my husband but um I, I just think it's just too much it becomes too much and it's overwhelming to people and people start to use all of their um, worth. They start to use their worth like, if I can get this or I can do this, that that's going to mean that I'm important or I mean something or whatever. And so basically what I'm saying is you're, it's really probably, I think if you spend too much time on social media, it can become a place that um, is really for the insecure. Um, and if you're insecure, it will just solidify that and make it more worse. I mean, it will make it worse for you, if that makes any sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an insecure person already, and then you go to Instagram or social media or whatever, and you, you start to get, you know, into that whole um, momentum, It'll start to make you feel crazy. And I have a couple of friends that like, they have, I don't know, a couple of million, like they have a couple of million followers and I've talked to them and stuff and they're like, yeah, it becomes, I mean, if it's not about business, like you usually have business outside of your social media. Like there's a lot of people that use social media and that's how they're getting their business. But it's very, very important not to focus on that too much because what happens is like the algorithm, the algorithms on social media are always changing. And so there's a lot of people that have completely relied on social media to get business and things like that. And it's actually been a very big hindering aspect for them. So what I'm saying is you need to focus on outside the universe will bring you the people that you need in your tribe. You know what I'm saying? Your vibe attracts your tribe. And so it's not going to matter if you have 10 followers. It's not going to matter if I only have 10,000 people on my YouTube that follow me and 150 watch. Like that's not, it's not about the numbers. I've learned that. Like being a YouTube creator, it's not about the numbers. It doesn't matter if I have 10,000 people, but I... But I have, you know what I'm saying? Like if I haven't, anyway, what I'm saying is I've learned that with being a YouTube creator is that it doesn't matter about the numbers. It, it's your vibrational energy attracts what you need in life. So I don't need a crap load of people to follow me on Instagram or be a YouTube subscriber um, the universe is going to provide me if I have the right energy for that. And so I think what I basically wanted to talk about was that. That stimulated me from watching that Grace Vanderhall, Vanderwall um, video. And so I was just thinking, yeah, I think it's so interesting how so many people become so absorbed in it. And, um, and how it's just a false sense of identity. And I just think that it's... And maybe that's not the way for you. Maybe you, maybe you're completely fine with it or whatever. But I've found that the more that I've, you know, stepped away from it and and um, not focused on that, just focused on my art and writing my books and and all that kind of stuff, it's like I've had so much more productivity. Um, and I've also felt very, very um, internally more secure within myself to not have to reach for these exterior things that are gonna, that we use to try and make ourselves feel better. You know, like I'm significant, I'm important. See, I've got, you know, 30,000, you know, followers on my Instagram. It's like, that doesn't, I mean, and furthermore, it's like the algorithm changes so much, like to rely on that is crazy because I, my one friend, I mean, she's got, what she's got like mm, eight million followers and she's like a friend of mine like I have her cell number in my phone which is really really cool like that I know somebody like that but I'm like if you're only having 30,000 people that are liking or commenting for 20,000 comments but you have 
seven to eight million people that follow you on Instagram, like that's not really that much. I mean, it helps that she's a celebrity. I get that, you know, because people are going to follow people like that. But anyway, so, but my whole point was, is just don't get so involved in thinking that your life depends on social media because I can guarantee you when that whole shit hits the fan and you realize like some of most of these people I mean they dig you and everything like that but they're not weighing their every whim and folly on your lives do you know what I'm saying like life goes on what are you gonna do after Instagram when you don't have anybody and you don't have these different outlets? What are you gonna do when that's all shot to hell? Like you're gonna be up the creek is what you're gonna be doing and you're gonna be like losing your shiz because you're like, oh my God, no one likes me. When it's really, it was never really about that. That's an external version of trying to internally put something within you that you're not taking care of vibrationally on the inside first. Does that make sense? So anyway, I've just had, you know, um, an experience with that probably two years ago and it really helped me to clarify and recognize what I was doing and why I was getting a little bit taken away with the whole aspect of social media and how that was playing a part in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need people to like rant at and and put up quotes and stuff like that like oh this person pissed me off and I'm gonna put this quote up there and this is just for them like I don't have time to do that you know what I'm saying like once again we're you relying on something to fix externally when we really need to go internal about this so when that happened to me and I was like oh I think what I'm gonna totally do is post this you know quote and um, that's gonna get their attention or whatever but it's like you know what now I realize like those people people that are secure within themselves don't look at other people's crap it's always called like I learned this in a class that I took and it was from one of these um, um, business like gurus you know like a Tony Robbins and it was actually Brendan Bruchard. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but he's a Pisces. I love him too. Um, but he's like a New York Times bestseller. So I took one of his courses and um, he always says, create before you consume. And what he was saying was, you need to create stuff. Like I'm creating content before I consume any kind of content. Does that make sense? Like, it's so important to be a creator and, and create things. And so, yeah, I'm creating videos and I'm creating my art and all these different things. And then if I get time later on, I'll post something on my Instagram or my social media. But that's not my life and I don't rely on that to, to get likes or to get business even. Because I really believe that the universe provides me with everything that I need. Like, that's how serendipitous the universe is. The universe, like spins worlds on its axle like I don't need social media like the universe will bring that stuff to me and those people to me and just like it did Hay House I mean I mean that's pretty big is like my publishing company is Hay House like that's awesome right so anyway yeah that was a little bragatory but you know what I'm proud of myself you know and um, it just goes to show you that as long as you're taking care of your internal being that the universe source God will provide for you so it's not about social media that's basically what I wanted to say because I was very inspired by Grace's um, video when she's talking about this and I think that's profound that she's only 13 years old and she's already noticed that like who cares about you get you know 1 million viewers on your you know and you're viral on YouTube who cares about that if that's not what it's about it's about the message and about the authentic transparent person you know so anyway I hope this served you I hope you're having a lovely day and I hope my camera didn't shake too much um, and I just wanted you to know thank you so much for my new subscribers thank you so much and if you want to help a mermaid give her her fins if you would subscribe in the box below that would be great thanks so much I love you um, and as always I'm yours until my next swim ciao bye